Welcome to Trump Wire, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. The 55th Paris International Air Show, in June 2025, was always about Boeing and Airbus, two giants whose rivalry has defined the industry for decades. Their aircraft, their deals, and their innovations have long dominated the headlines and the show floor. But this year, something was different. The familiar narrative was about to be rewritten as a new player stepped into the spotlight, determined to make its mark on the world stage. Comac, the commercial aircraft corporation of China, made its boldest statement yet. The company unveiled a larger, more prominent pavilion, drawing crowds of curious onlookers and industry insiders alike, but it wasn't just the impressive display that caught everyone's attention. Comac announced 100 new firm orders for its C919 jet, a move that sent shockwaves through the exhibition halls and signaled a new era for the Chinese manufacturer. This wasn't just another sales pitch, it was a declaration that China is ready to challenge the duopoly. The Comac executives spoke with confidence, outlining their vision for the future and their commitment to safety, efficiency, and innovation. The audience, a mix of skeptics and supporters, listened intently as the company laid out its ambitions, not just for China, but for the global market. The C919, already flying with Chinese airlines, shifted the conversation from if to when, Comac would become a global force. Its successful entry into commercial service at home has proven its reliability and performance, and now, with international interest growing, the question is how quickly it can expand beyond China's borders. The aircraft's presence at Le Bourget was a powerful symbol of China's technological progress and its determination to compete on equal footing. The surge in Chinese exhibitors at the show signaled a coordinated push to integrate into the global supply chain and target Europe. Chinese aerospace firms, suppliers and technology partners were out in force, networking with potential collaborators and showcasing their capabilities. It was clear that this was not just about one company or one aircraft, but about an entire ecosystem seeking to establish itself on the world stage. For the first time, Comac's presence felt like accomplishment, not aspiration. The energy around their pavilion was palpable, with international visitors eager to learn more about the C919 and what it represents for the future of aviation. Media coverage was extensive, and the buzz was impossible to ignore. The 100 order announcement became the talk of the show, a clear sign that the established order is facing real disruption. Industry analysts debated what this meant for Boeing and Airbus, while airline executives quietly took note of the shifting landscape. The message was clear, the days of a two-horse race may be coming to an end. The message from Paris was unmistakable, a new force has arrived, and the commercial aircraft market is on the verge of transformation. As the sun set over Le Bourget, it was clear that the future of aviation would be shaped not just by the old guard, but by ambitious newcomers ready to challenge the status quo. At the heart of this shift is the Comac C919. China's answer to the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo, designed for 158 to 192 passengers, the C919 targets the world's busiest airline routes. Launched in 2008, it's a symbol of China's ambition to reduce reliance on Western manufacturers. The C919 blends Chinese engineering with Western technology, notably the CFM Leap 1C engines. Over 1,000 orders, mostly from Chinese carriers, prove its commercial viability. The C919 gives airlines a third option, promising to reshape the competitive landscape for years to come. The announcement of 100 new C919 orders at the Paris Air Show was far more than just a commercial achievement. It was a defining moment for China's aviation ambitions. This milestone sent a powerful message to the global aerospace community, signaling that China is no longer content to play a supporting role in the skies. For China's aviation industry, these orders represent a turning point, validating years of investment, research, and determination. The sight of engineers celebrating and production lines bustling with activity is a testament to the nation's commitment to mastering complex technologies and building a homegrown alternative to Western aircraft. Once dismissed as a regional project with limited prospects, 
The C919 is now gaining real global traction. International airlines are taking notice, and the aircraft's presence at major airports around the world is reshaping perceptions of Chinese engineering. A robust order book is more than a list of sales. It's a vote of confidence. It signals to airlines everywhere that the C919 is a safe, reliable, and competitive choice, worthy of consideration alongside established Western models. Each new order reduces the perceived risk for others, creating a powerful cascade of confidence. As more airlines commit, the aircraft's reputation grows, making it easier for Comac to attract even more customers. This momentum allows Comac to ramp up production, achieve economies of scale, and invest further in its supply chain. With every jet that rolls off the assembly line, the company gains experience, efficiency, and credibility. The Paris success is not just a commercial win, it's a symbol of China's growing technological self-reliance and its determination to shape the future of global aviation. It's a proud moment for the nation and a signal to the world that China is ready to compete at the highest level. The rise of the C919 marks China's evolution from being the world's factory to becoming a creator of world-class technology, setting the stage for a new era in aviation history. In September 2025, Air Asia's public interest in the Comac C919 sent ripples through the global aviation industry, giving a significant boost to Comac's international ambitions. The move was closely watched by competitors and analysts alike, as it signaled a potential shift in the balance of power among aircraft manufacturers. Air Asia, known for its bold strategies and willingness to challenge the status quo, was now considering a jet that could disrupt the long-standing Airbus Boeing duopoly. CEO Tony Fernandez confirmed that Air Asia was in advanced discussions with Comac, highlighting the C919's economic appeal and the airline's openness to innovation. Fernandez emphasized that the talks were not just about price, but about the potential for a new partnership that could reshape the airline's future fleet. His statements drew attention to the growing credibility of Comac as a serious contender in the global market. For AirAsia, evaluating the C919 isn't just about adding a new aircraft type, it's a strategic move to increase leverage in ongoing negotiations with Airbus and Boeing. By showing genuine interest in Comac's jet, AirAsia can potentially secure better terms pricing, and support from its traditional suppliers. This calculated approach is a hallmark of AirAsia's negotiation tactics, keeping all options open while maximizing value. The airline's reputation for relentless cost control and operational efficiency means that the C919's performance metrics, such as fuel efficiency, maintenance costs, and reliability, are under intense scrutiny. If the C919 can deliver on its promises, it could fit perfectly into AirAsia's low-cost model offering a competitive edge in a fiercely contested market. Meanwhile, Malaysia's government has actively encouraged Comac to build its brand presence and compete more aggressively in the region. Officials see the potential for increased investment, technology transfer, and job creation if Comac establishes a foothold in Southeast Asia. Their support adds another layer of complexity and opportunity to the negotiations. A deal with Air Asia would represent a major breakthrough for Comac providing a high-profile reference customer in Southeast Asia and opening doors to other airlines in the region. It would also demonstrate the C919's readiness for international operations, boosting confidence among potential buyers worldwide. However, Air Asia's diverse fleet strategy, which already includes both Airbus and Boeing aircraft, means that negotiations are complex and require careful consideration of integration, training, and long-term support. The airline is weighing not just the immediate benefits, but the broader implications for its operations and growth. Securing Air Asia as a customer would be a landmark achievement for Comac, but for both sides, this is just one step in a much larger strategic dance, one that could reshape the future of aviation in Asia and beyond. The C919's appeal lies in its modern efficiency and competitive economics. With 15% better fuel efficiency than older jets, thanks to advanced Leap 1C engines, it rivals the A320neo and 737 MAX. The aircraft features advanced materials, modern avionics, and is certified for sustainable aviation fuel blends. Its reliance on Western engines accelerates acceptance but exposes it to export risks. China is developing a domestic alternative. The cabin offers wider seats and aisles, enhancing passenger comfort. 
Comac's attractive pricing and financing, often backed by state banks, make the C919 hard to ignore in price-sensitive markets. This combination of technology, efficiency and value is driving the C919's global appeal. The C919's biggest hurdle is international certification, it's only approved by China's CAAC. Without ESA or FAA certification, COMAC is targeting regions where Chinese approval is accepted. Southeast Asia is the primary focus, with COMAC working on bilateral agreements to allow local operation. The C909 regional jet is already flying with carriers in Indonesia, Laos, and Vietnam, paving the way for the C919. Recent orders from Air Cambodia and regulatory flexibility in Vietnam show growing regional acceptance. Southeast Asia's booming aviation market makes it a strategic battleground. By building a base of international operators, COMAC strengthens its case for wider certification. It's a patient, step-by-step -step approach to global expansion. COMAC knows global success requires collaboration, not isolation. At Paris it deepened ties with Western suppliers like Safran and Crane Aerospace, especially for the upcoming C929 wide-body jet. These partnerships bring proven technology and credibility, reducing risk for customers. Working with global suppliers ensures COMAX jets meet international standards and performance benchmarks. The C929 program, with early Western involvement, shows COMAX's pragmatic approach to complex development. Rather than decoupling, COMAC is selectively integrating global expertise while nurturing domestic alternatives. This strategy reassures the industry that COMAC is a rational, standards-driven competitor. Boeing and Airbus can no longer ignore COMAC's rise. Publicly, they downplay the threat, but behind the scenes, strategies are shifting. Supply chain issues and production delays have made airlines hungry for alternatives. The C919's arrival gives airlines new leverage in negotiations, forcing the duopoly to compete harder on price and delivery. The competition could accelerate innovation, pushing Boeing and Airbus to develop next-generation aircraft. The era of incremental change may be ending, replaced by a new race for technological leadership. COMAC's quiet success at Paris could be the catalyst for a new era in aviation. The C919's 100 new orders and AirAsia's interest mark the start of a new era in aviation. The Boeing Airbus duopoly faces its most serious challenge yet. The C919 embodies a shift in global power, offering airlines more choice and sparking greater competition. Increased rivalry could mean more innovation, lower prices, and faster fleet expansion, especially in emerging markets. Yet the industry may fragment along geopolitical lines, complicating certification and operations. COMAC still faces hurdles, from scaling production to building global support, but its Paris breakthrough signals that the sky is now open to a determined new competitor.